Hey everybody, Pastor Nat here, children's and care pastor here at Oak Hills Church. This week, we have been looking at Jesus' last week here on earth before his resurrection. The actions he took, why they were very intentional. And the interactions he had with people, why they were filled with symbolism, fulfillments of scripture, and they had prophetic meaning. This week, our goal is to reflect on what Jesus said and did to get a better understanding of the significance of his death and the power of his resurrection. Well, today it's Thursday of Holy Week, known as Monday Thursday, which means commandment, as Jesus gave the commandment to love one another in John 13. And we're going to see what happened on this evening meal. Lots of things happened this evening. The washing of the disciples' feet, the Last Supper, the First Communion, the prayer at Gethsemane, and yes, number five, we had a conversation with the disciples of who is the greatest, all right? And I'm sure we've had a lot of conversations like that at our table. But this is Passover week. And as the Jews celebrate what God has done by delivering them from Egypt, Jesus and his disciples reserve a spot at someone's house to celebrate Passover. And as they gather around and celebrate Passover, but Jesus, he's celebrating the old, but he also is celebrating something new. He knows the time has come, and he wants his disciples, his followers, his loved ones, to know and remember this as well. So he takes his time to demonstrate what he has done for us. So as the disciples were talking and they're having their Passover meal, as it has many steps, they get to a bread spot. And Jesus takes the bread and he breaks this. He says, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he passed the bread around. The disciples understood and knew that this moment right here was something they will never forget. And as Jesus said, remember this, this bread represents my body. They said, we got to remember that. We got to celebrate this. So the disciples, uh, so a little later on, as the Passover meal had certain steps, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Do this and remember to me. And Jesus passed on the cup to the disciples. Jesus was starting something new. A new covenant that he would be the ultimate sacrifice so that we can have life. Colossians 1, 13 and 14 says this, For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and has brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Jesus came to save us. Jesus came to save you and me. And the reason we take this communion, the bread and the cup, is to remember what our Savior has done for us. We also do this to cherish the relationship, the fellowship that we have with our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our symbol for today is the bread and the cup. So if you could put the bread and the cup in that spot that you have reserved for this week to remember that his bread that represents his body that was broken for you and the cup that represents the blood that was poured out for you and for me to remember that. And also I encourage you to take time to take communion with your loved ones and then have conversation at a table with your loved ones of why we are remembering and celebrating what Jesus did for us. 
Happy Monday, Thursday, and God bless.